welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Cotton Candy. It's nice to meet you. So the official EDC Las Vegas lineup has dropped and I am just blown away. I am so excited. It is the most insane stacked lineup that EDC has ever had, in my opinion. First of all, did you guys watch the live stream on Facebook where they did the music through music reveal of the lineup? If you did, you know that was so incredibly difficult because what they do is play like five to 10 seconds of a song from each DJ on the lineup. <laughs> had to kind of like decipher it and figured out which songs belong to which DJs. Me and my friends did have a little EDC reveal party where we got together and drank White Claws and watched it together and it was really fun. Fucking young <laughs> babe! <laughs> oh, whoa! So, cool. so guys, well, like, I heard I'm curious to know in the comment section, what did you guys do for the big EDC reveal? And also like, hello, what you guys think about this year's official EDC lineup. This is the flyer. Like if I wanna talk about all of the amazing acts, it would literally just be me reading every single act because they're all so amazing. It is literally so lit. Some acts that really, 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 really stand out to me though that I wanna point out are Alice in Wonderland, Andy C, a drum and bass legend, Ben Nicky presents Extreme, Sid, Detweekas, Diplo Back to Back MK, Don Diablo, Excision, Gammer, Gammer Back to Back Kid, Lady Faith, shout out to all of the female producer DJs on the lineup. There are quite a lot. Just looking over the lineup really quick, you have Lady Faith, Reality Test, DJ Anime, Anna Luno, Rez, Alice in Wonderland, Vanessa, Nicole Madauber, and quite a few more. And I really, really appreciate that. So yeah, Reality Test, Said the Sky, Seven Lions, my favorite, Zed, Zed's Dead kills it every time. I saw them like four times last year and they were freaking amazing every time. 12th Planet throwback set. I am very intrigued by that. I want to know what that's all about. Abroxas, of course, is Seven Lions and Amiibo Psytrans project. I am a huge fan. So excited for that. Alan Walker, Alesso, a huge name, Dr. Fresh, Carl Cox, Dubfire, Back 3 Back, Nicole Madauber, Back 3 Back, Paco Osuna, Excision Detox set, Fisher, Galantis, Goriella 2.0, Griffin DJ set. Like he has really cool live sets, but his DJ set is still gonna be amazing. Jaws back to back Oliver Heldens. Like what could that even mean? They're so different. That would be such a wild collab to check out. Joseph Capriotti, Kazo, Cashmere, I saw at Imagine Music Festival and he threw down. I would love to see him again. Lil Texas is crazy. His music is probably unlike anything you've ever heard before. I would definitely recommend checking out his set. Martin Garrix, of course, always amazing. Pendulum Trinity, Slander, Sound Rush, Sway, Sub Zero Project, Sudden Death Presents Void. Like that whole line is amazing. TNT, aka Techno Boy and Tune Boy. You see what I'm saying now? I feel like I'm just listing literally every single DJ on the lineup. It's just that good. Afrojack, back-to-back -back rehab, Black Tiger Sex Machine, I saw a bunch of times last year. Their visuals are always so insane. Code Black, Cosmic Gate, Darren Styles, of course, my favorite DJ. He is amazing. Eliminate, Green Velvet, IO is super duper cool, would definitely recommend. Mala, Nightmare, Rob Gee with Sid of Slipknot. Like, how crazy is that? Like, whose idea was this? I I don't know, but it sounds awesome. Slander, back to back, said the sky. Obviously, we're going to be seeing the softer, melodic, beautiful side of Slander. Tweeka Core, one of the only other happy hardcore artists in addition to Darren Styles on the lineup. Last few names I'm gonna mention, Wild Styles and Zomboy. Like I said, I cannot go over every single DJ on this lineup in detail, but needless to say, the whole point of this video is that the lineup is stacked. There is something for everyone. How could anyone be unhappy with this lineup? Who am I most excited to see on the lineup. My two favorite producer DJs of all time are on the lineup for this year's EDC and I couldn't be more happy. Darren Styles is an awesome happy hardcore producer. A lot of people mix him up and think he's hard style. He's not. His music is faster. A lot of it is very melodic and upbeat. Some of it is really edgy. He just has a really unique sound. Genuinely unlike most of the music you're gonna hear at EDC Las Vegas so I would definitely check him out. I love him. And then of course Seven Lions, such an amazing producer 
producer DJ. His music is just so diverse. I love his sets. He does everything from like trance to future bass to melodic dubstep to side trance and he just mixes it all together and it's amazing. He will be playing on the main stage, Kinetic Field. Uh, and I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I know exactly how I feel about that. It's not that I don't love Kinetic Field. It's just like, it's not my favorite to see my favorite DJs play on because all of the visuals, the LED screens, the pyrotechnics, it has to go with like the stage design. The LED screens don't show the different visuals for each different DJ and like it makes sense because a lot of these DJs visuals just wouldn't go with like the stage design. Like it just wouldn't look good against their super pretty design. So I get it. But for that reason, Circuit Grounds is probably my favorite stage to see DJs on because it has all of the LED screens showing the different DJs visuals. And I love Seven Lions visuals. They are so cool. Like the cinematography and some of his visuals are just so beautiful and insane. And I absolutely adore it. For that reason, I am disappointed just a little bit that he's going to be on the main stage. But honestly, he's so big that he kind of has to be there. Then again, actually, I don't know because Circuit Grounds is going to have 80,000 people this year, right? Which is like the same as the main stage. I don't know. I'm just happy to see him. I'm not ungrateful. I'm happy to see him. I'm just saying because like last year, Excision played on the main stage and everyone knows that Excision's visuals are such a big part of his sets. And of course, he played on the main stage so you couldn't see his visuals. It was still a good set, but I was missing those visuals and he is not playing there this year. So I'm excited to see his visuals on whichever stage he's playing on. What? Base pod, he's playing on base pod where he belongs. I mean, base pod is big enough to where it could hold his whole crowd. I genuinely believe that. And I'm just excited to experience his visuals at EDC this year. On that note, Abraxas is also on the lineup. And for those of you who don't know, Abraxas is Seven Lions and Amiibo's Psytrance project. And I was lucky enough to see them at Dream State in Southern California just a few months ago, actually. And I got a super cool flag made. I like went all out. I love Seven Lions. I loved the Abraxas set. It was amazing. I'm excited to see them again for sure. And at EDC Las Vegas, I bet you the visuals there are going to be so lit. Okay, the third act I was so excited to see on this lineup was Pendulum Trinity. So Pendulum is a trio. They are legends in bass music. They kind of like split up or not really split up. It's just two of the members went on to do the Project Knife Party. And so Pendulum hadn't really come out with new music in a while. That has changed as of this year. I believe they came out with a new project called Pendulum Trinity. And I was so excited to see their name because because I was supposed to go see them next month in the Netherlands at Rampage, which is an awesome, huge bass music festival. And I got my ticket, but I can't make it after all. And so I was really sad about that. And then during the live stream, I did hear a Pendulum song, like one of their old songs. And so it kind of like threw me off. And I thought it was maybe just like the DJ set for Pendulum, which they've done in the past, just done by one of the members. And I didn't get my hopes up. But then when the official flyer came out, it says Pendulum Trinity and like, I am so excited. Uh, okay, yeah, um, let's see. Fourth act I'm really excited to see on the lineup is Gorilla 2.0. So Gorilla is an old classic trans project originally by Ferry Corsten and Tiesto all the way back in the day. The project was resurfaced by Ferry Corsten a few years ago and I did catch his performance at Dream State and I cried. It was so beautiful, I freaking cried. Now this is super wishful thinking because I believe on multiple occasions Tiesto said he would never return to trance or he just had like no plans on returning to trance but like, what if at EDC Las Vegas for the 10 year anniversary, Gorilla 2.0 is Ferry Corsten and Tiesto? How crazy would that be? I mean, Tiesto is gonna be there. He's on the lineup for the same day as Gorilla 2.0. That's just my personal conspiracy theory. And I am definitely speaking it out into the universe because I hope it happens. How freaking awesome would that be? Let's talk about some of the DJs who are not on the lineup. Some of those DJs that notably are not on the lineup this year are Above and Beyond, Calvin Harris, Dash Berlin, Armin Van Buren, Chris Lake, Cascade, Elenium, Odessa, and Angerfist. The fact that these DJs and other DJs are missing from the lineup has made some people very sad, but you know what? The lineup is stacked even without these DJs and no one should be sad about the lineup. Like you're gonna have the best time ever and nothing is impossible at EDC because like Above and Beyond and Calvin Harris are actually playing at clubs during EDC week. So I mean, they could show up to EDC for secret sets or special guest appearance 
experiences like who knows me and the founder of EDM maniac actually do this podcast and so we just did an episode where we have an in-depth discussion and breakdown of all the different names on the lineup you want to listen to that podcast it is available on my YouTube channel there were some things that Pasquale also talked about in addition to this lineup reveal like I said the lineups get bigger and bigger every year and so this year they're actually adding an additional stage an all house music stage called Skylab which would make EDC have a total of nine stages this year not to mention the seven or eight art cars that are also playing DJ sets from dusk till dawn every day as well like there's just so much music everywhere they mentioned that neon garden which is predominantly a techno and underground dance music stage it's going to be even bigger this year and it's going to be like an enclosed space so I'm intrigued to see what that means they also mentioned expanding circuit grounds which is honestly one of my favorite stages so they're apparently making it bigger changing the design to be even more awesome and it's going to be taking up more real estate to fit more people so apparently it's going to fit up to 80,000 people at this stage which I believe is the same amount of people that fit at the main stage kinetic field at this point I wouldn't necessarily call kinetic field the main stage I would say that kinetic field circuit grounds and even cosmic meadow are all so big like they're basically all main stages every stage at EDC is a main stage to be honest the lineups at every single stage are just stacked but yeah the reason why they're able to make all of these changes to the stages to make them take up more real estate to make them bigger is because this is the first year where they're using the entire speedway for the festival footprint meaning they have more room to play with and I just can't like imagine what they're gonna do with all this space because EDC is already huge and crazy there's so much going on in addition to all the stages and the art cars so like them having even more room to do more fun stuff like it's going to be wild and of course don't forget that it is the 10 year anniversary of EDC Las Vegas so between the 10 year anniversary and the festival being literally bigger I would say that it's just going to be crazy this year I am legitimately an EDC Las Vegas veteran like if you're one of my current subscribers or followers on social media you know I'm such a huge fangirl of EDC Las Vegas I've been to music festivals all over the world I've been to Tomorrowland I've been to Def Con 1 and EDC Las Vegas is still my personal favorite I will never miss an EDC that being said this year is actually going to be my eighth time in a row every time I go feels like the first time because it is literally just so magical there's no other place like it in the world let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the EDC lineup this year don't forget to check out the other EDC Las Vegas videos on my channel I have literally so many I have vlogs of the festival so you can see what it's really like reviews tip videos to help you prepare and hype you up for this year's edition and please subscribe for new awesome and helpful EDC videos coming out on my channel nearly every week have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this stay awesome and I hope to see you under the electric sky in May peace out Girl Scouts